Chapter 2, Super Bully Second grade started out great. My mom and dad had asked for me to be in Mrs. Brottle's class. They told me she was the best teacher at Desperate's Elementary School. She smiled a lot and there wasn't any homework and there was a lot of neat stuff all over her room. So I was happy she was my teacher. Phil Willis had Mrs. Brattle too. Willie and I were already best friends back in second grade and we had fun every day. We sat at the same group of tables. We were reading partners. We ate lunch together every day and we always goofed around during recess. We didn't ride the same bus, but after school, sometimes I went to his house, and sometimes he came over to mine. Best of all, Mrs. Brattle's class had zero bullies, not one. It was great. I still had to be careful at lunchtime and out on the playground, but most of the time my life was bully-free. Then right before Halloween, a new kid moved to town. The minute he walked into Mrs. Brattle's room, I knew I was in trouble. Mrs. Brattle said, Class, we have a new student today. His name is Link Baxter. She kept talking and we all looked at the new kid. I could see he was kind of tall for a second grader. He had brown hair and a pointy nose and long arms with big hands. Link Baxter stood there and started looking around the room at all of us too. When he came to me, he stopped. I looked into his face and I saw that Link Baxter had beady little eyes, bully eyes, and Link saw me seeing this. And then he smiled at me. It was not a nice smile. Then Mrs. Brottle, this lady who was supposed to be such a great teacher, what did she do? She put Link at the same group of desks with me and Willie. Right away, Willie whispered, Hi, I'm Phil, but really I'm Willie, that's my nickname. You see, Willie has never had any trouble with bullies, mostly because he's too small. He's a nice kid and he minds his own business, and bullies don't even seem to notice him. So Link smiled at Willie and said, Hi. Then Willie pointed at me and said, This is Jake. Link Baxter pointed his beady eyes at me and smiled at bully smile again. And he said, Jake, okay. I tried to smile and nod at him, but I know I looked kind of spooked because I was spooked. And Link could see I was spooked. And he liked it. And that's when I knew I was in big bully trouble. Link was only eight years old, just like me. But I could tell right from the start that Link had big plans. He wanted to be the MVP on the bully all-star team. He wanted to make it into the Bullies Hall of Fame. And me, Jake Drake, I was his new project. On that first day when Link came to my class, we practiced handwriting. Mrs. Brottle passed out some lined white paper. We had to write six sentences very, very neatly. Handwriting practice was the only time we could use a pen instead of a pencil. I loved using my pen. It was made of bright red plastic and it had black ink. There was a little button on the side. When I pushed the button, the pen went click and the top popped up. So I was in the middle of my fifth sentence, almost done. The pen was gliding over the smooth paper. My handwriting looked great. Then Link gave his desk a quick shake. My desk was touching his desk. So my pen went jerking all over. My paper was a mess. I looked over at Link and he smiled. Then he whispered, nice pen. So I went up to Mrs. Brottle and got a new piece of paper. I started copying my sentences again. But now I watched Link all the time to be sure he didn't shake his desk again. I was so nervous that I messed up two more pieces of paper all by myself and Link didn't make a move. So I settled down. I was on the very last sentence. Mrs. Brottle was helping a kid at the back of the room. So Link reached over real fast and flicked my ear. Not hard, just enough to make me jump. My pen skidded and my paper was a mess all over again. 
You see, Link was no ordinary bully. Any big kid can push a little kid around. That's one kind of bullying, but this was different. Link Baxter, well, he got inside my head. And it only took him 20 minutes, no doubt about it. This was a bully with real talent. So there I was asking Mrs. Brottle for my fifth piece of paper and she said, Jake, you should be more careful. And I almost shouted, yeah, well, you should pay more attention. Don't you know there's a super bully loose in your classroom? But of course I didn't say that because the second rule about bullies is that if you tattle to the teacher, things might get a lot worse. And I had a feeling things were going to be bad enough already. And I was right.